Hey Pisces, this is Tina with 85th House Vibrations and this is your general reading for October 2018. This is good for Pisces, Sun, Moon, and Rising. How is everybody doing today? Great, I hope. <clears throat> We're using the Deviant Moon to roll by Patrick uh, Valenza, I believe is how you pronounce it. And let's go ahead and jump in. If I didn't say already, the Moon is in Taurus. Pisces, um... Uh, what I want to say is, I feel like some of you may be in a situation right now where everything feels uh, even steaming. It feels like uh, you are definitely um, getting whatever you're putting into something, you feel like you are getting it back. And it feels all good. What I want to say, Pisces, though, is stay aware stay in the moment be sure that you understand everything that is going on around you because I feel like there's somebody in your circle maybe somebody that you are having some uh, intimate contact with who is they're giving you exactly what you want right now but they have a direct mission and I don't know that uh, their intent, I'm sorry, there's a plane going by. Let's just hold on for a second. <clears throat> okay. I don't know that they have long-term intent. So I just want to, and that's not going to be for everybody, but that is something that I'm picking up for some of you Pisces. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. We have got, honey, I have to make sure with these cards, I have to make sure I know what it is. This is the Eight of Pentacles reversed. I don't know if they call it coins or pentacles in this deck. In this, deck. this is the Eight of Pentacles reversed, like I said. It's a little dark, y'all, so. Uh, yeah, it's pretty gray outside, so I'm sorry. The next card is the world in the upright position, and it is taking up the center of the reading. The last card is the seven of wands. I just is taking me a moment because I want to be absolutely sure I have in the past used these cards and look back later and realize that I thought a card was something that it actually wasn't. Okay. So, all right, we got the eight of coins reversed, the world card, and the seven of wands. Just to recap, the world card that is taking up the center, another plane going by, trying to keep me from completing my mission. Hold on, guys. <clears throat> okay. So, like I said, we've got the world card. It's taken up the center, and it is the 21st major arcana. It's the last of all of the major arcana, or arcana, however you choose to pronounce that word. And, of course, when we see the world, it, it talks about a, the completion of something. You know, you've, you, it's the world. It's everything. You, you've done that. It's good. So, let's go ahead. I just want to mention that and get started with the Eight of Pentacles reversed. Uh, this is a Sun in Virgo card. So we just recently came out of Sun in Virgo. It's Libra season now. What I feel like is that uh, either somebody is not currently focused on a particular person, place, or thing, or they shouldn't be. I, I, what the feeling that I'm getting in this case, because usually this card is about being focused on something and um, paying attention to all of the details. That's what it's about. What's in the upright position? It's a Sun and Virgo card. It's about paying attention to the details and analyzing things. This is an apprentice card. You know, it's about study um, and 
learning to the full capacity, take, like I said, taking in all the details and making sure that it is precise and right. Uh, it's about laser focus in my opinion. However, with it in the reverse, this is saying the opposite. This is probably something that is happening very sloppily, very, you know, the opposite of Virgo. Somebody has lost focus or, you know, was never focused in the first place or shouldn't be focused on a particular thing. And what I'm going with, what the message that I'm getting is that whatever the focus was on Pisces it needs to shift you probably shouldn't be focused on this particular thing anymore or you know the um, dedication maybe that you thought you had from somebody you don't that's that's what I'm getting and the reason why Pisces I believe is because this cycle is is complete this was something that had to be dealt with or will have to be or something that you will be having to deal with this month and it makes sense because Venus is going to retrograde this month and I'm telling you there are lots of old situations that keep coming up we talk about old lovers and things like that what I'm seeing the uh, revised version of that that I'm seeing play out all around me is that it may not necessarily be a physical person that shows back up but there are situations that are going to come up somebody is going to be focused on old shit and they shouldn't be because it's done that that that's that's how it goes down it's done and listen to me pisces chiron has retrograded back into the 29th degree of pisces right the 29th degree is the very the 29th degree of Pisces is the very last degree of the zodiac it is the ultimate completion and Chiron for those of you who don't know it's uh it, he's considered the wounded healer he's a centaur kind of like Sagittarius he's the wounded healer I won't get into the backstory right now because it's going to take a while but um the wounded healer he's generally somebody who in some particular area of his life maybe due to traumatic experience somehow he's wounded and he is unable to help himself he's always somehow able to help others but he can't help himself and uh, once he learns the lessons that he needs to learn in regards to uh, what has wounded the healer then he can heal himself and move on to his ultimate greatness now uh, what I was saying is that the 29th degree of Pisces is the very last degree of the zodiac hence the ultimate completion and Chiron the wounded healer has retrograded back to that degree so whatever it was that we were working on at that 29th degree when Chiron passed over it the first time that ultimate healing Chiron in my opinion has dipped back into that to see what's up where are you at where are you at with this what's going on how we doing do i need to sprinkle some salt in the wound to get you to act before i move back into aries and go on about my business that's what chiron that's what i feel like chiron is saying it's look like look i'm sticking my head back in are you good you know what are you gonna do about this before i move on because i'm about out of here and if you don't complete this cycle if this ultimate healing doesn't occur well then Chiron won't revisit the 29th degree of Pisces again for the next 50 years do you have that long to fix whatever this situation is this is karmic are we tired of hearing the word yeah I am but it's a thing you know it, it it's karmic it's double karmic Chiron just went back to make sure you're good because Chiron realizes he won't be back to help you get through this situation again, whatever this particular situation is, for another 50 years is all I'm saying. So the Seven of Wands is saying, so fight for what it is that you have to fight for. Because whatever path it is, whatever journey it is that you're on right now, is the right journey. I think that uh, you have to reshift. You have to refocus. And that's for some of you. 
and then for others of you it is somebody is not focused this is done somebody is not focused on you because this whole situation is done and you just need to stand up for yourself don't be a doormat move forward with uh confidence Dig into those reserves of your willpower because you will find yourself with the Seven of Wands possibly facing some, um, some I don't want to say backlash, I don't, maybe it is backlash, uh, but facing some kind of what seems like an attack from unknown forces. And it may be something that you can't see because you're focused on something else. Some of you are focused on something else. So you can't see what's actually coming at you. But there is going to be a need for you in the month of October to fight for what you believe is right. Because in this situation, whatever it is that you're standing on is probably solid. Well, that's the way that I see it, Pisces. If anybody would like to get a personal reading with me, my email is in the description box below. You could also, if you follow me on Twitter or Facebook and you're interested in getting a reading, you can just hit me up on there too and, and we'll get together and talk about it. So thanks. If you're new here, thanks for uh, giving this video a chance. And if you are returning, Thanks for showing back up. Hope to talk to you guys again next month.